What the fuck up, world? What the fuck up, world? It's been a minute. <laughs> been a minute. Um, shit. Oh, shit, my bad. Um, really, um, tell y'all the truth. Nigga been busy. Uh, personal issue type shit. Um, but anyway, nothing bad, nothing good. I'll let, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so Kelly Price is missing. Surprising to me? No. Surprising to y'all, yeah. Um... Shit, I'm thinking the bitch posed to have died with the COVID shit. You know what I'm saying? Famous singer died and all that other shit. So, I don't know. Maybe she didn't follow the script. Because um, I seen uh, Michael K. Williams die and all that shit. And then uh, your boy died, A.J. Johnson. Then they had another famous black person on. Had to do with acting and stuff. Had died. But, um, yeah, I say that to say this in the title. I think it was TMZ or somebody put a gospel singer gone missing. I don't know Kelly Price has no fucking gospel singer. I know her as one of the bitches that R. Kelly put on. That's what I know. I know her as one of the bitches R. Kelly put on. So, I don't know. And why nobody never asked or did she answer questions about the R. Kelly situation or something? Anyway, it doesn't even matter. Uh, My price, uh, I'm looking at the shit. I'm looking at it like... Nigga, when they say missing in Georgia, nigga, that's cold for, like, just missing people in general, shit. Y'all remember them kids missing in Georgia? There's always some funny-ass ritualistic shit going on in Georgia. And, um, uh, what else? That fucking, that just hit my bunny ears. When they talking about the three weeks she was in the fucking, um... The IR or some shit like that. It's just the, the number three. That shit bounced off my brain like a motherfucker. Um, but I ultimately looked at it like this. You know what I'm saying? R. Kelly's going to go free because the price he paid for his freedom, the price Kelly paid for his freedom was a gospel singer. And ironic, we have a gospel singer <laughs> named Kelly Price missing. Right around the time they got them the court shit supposed to start. You know, y'all don't y'all don't y'all still don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is how this shit works. These motherfuckers is fucked up in the brain, man. Fucked up in the brain. That's just like uh the shit with AJ Johnson. That shit kinda fucked me up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? AJ Johnson, um, one of my favorite dudes and um, you know what I'm saying, as far as like just memories, you know what I'm saying? Like I say to me, I feel like one of his best comedic roles was in um I got the hookup shit. He fucking carried that movie. But a lot of people wanted to go to the Ezel thing with the Friday thing because a lot of people are watered the fuck down and their memory is fucking bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's either that or they just so fucking shallow, you know what I'm saying? But um he played in a lot of good roles. You know what I'm saying? I even remember him in fucking um uh, what that was, uh, Minister Society, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he was, uh, one of Kane daddy friends in that movie. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just off the cuffs, but it, it kind of upset me because, like I say, man, he wasn't on the scene or nothing like that, though, but you know what I'm saying? You fall in line with these people, like, ain't no telling kind of, only thing that made me think of, I was like, damn, did he, like, sign one of those movie deals with, like, Newsline Cinema or some shit, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, motherfucker get get on for, like, 20, 20 mil and shit like that or whatever, whatever, and they, they have these certain amount of movies they have to do. I wonder if the, uh, I wonder if he had done fulfilled his obligation. I don't know. Yeah, the shit so goddamn complicated how the shit work. So, um, it's not, it's not surprising to me. But at the same time, um... Ain't wearing no friends there, you know what I'm saying? First, people, you, you think about A.J. Johnson, you think about Master P and fucking Ice Cube. So it's, I mean, no excuse, period, why this man's wife should be on TMZ talking about she finna get ready to cremate him and shit. You know what I'm saying? It just baffles me, you know what I'm saying? The fake love and the fake friends type shit, you know what I'm saying? And we thinking these people the best of buddies. Hey, let me get a, another guy, I got the hookup. I mean, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. And really don't be knowing what the fuck be going on behind the scenes. But ain't it ironic? You get found in the fucking uh, uh, aisle. You know what I'm saying? Just like Isaiah when he slipped and fell in the stove. You know what I'm saying? 
trying to lead a man with a narrative like that shit is just, you know what I'm saying? Then with the drug abuse and then, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to Keller Price. You motherfuckers, y'all, we said, y'all set up there and y'all asked for that shit. Y'all set up there and talking about the white girls and the attention on the white girls and no attention on the black girl. Boom. Now they gave your ass a famous motherfucking singer, black woman, and she missing. Ain't they looking for her? Problem cause, problem cause effect the solution. Problem solution. Problem cause solution. But um, like I said, man, I'm not here to say the world. I just got a motherfucking opinion. How are Grand Rising? Be easy.